What's up guys, it's Tico Smokey coming at you with another post-race interview. And this time we're talking with McChicken. He hails from Australia. He's currently sitting in fourth in the overall points and finished second on the box last week. McChicken, how are you doing? Really appreciate you uh, taking the time and talking with us today. I know it's super early where you're at over there. <laughs> Uh, but just uh, how do you think the, the season's been going for you so far? Uh, well, with round one, DQing, not very good. But it kind of bounced back with round two and three going, what was it? Four, four and then four, two. two. Four, two, yeah. yeah. So improvements I, every race for sure. Oh, yeah. I definitely hope to get on the top step either tonight or tomorrow, whatever it is. Um, yeah, yeah, that was actually going to be my second question. I was just like, what's it going to take to knock uh, Jack off the top of the box? Because he's, he's kind of on a row. He's won three in a row. Well, with that race just in, I uh, I had actually went going from like 10th up to second and then passed him and then got caught with lappers and then let him back by. So I definitely have the speed to beat him. It's just my consistency yeah because yeah. after the race you go and check out the lap times and you're always one of the fastest yeah i can always track. lay down i can always lay down the fastest lap but i can never put it all together yeah some people have been saying you're the austin forkner of the group yeah i'd probably agree with that honestly you're just like insanely fast but i feel like you're always having to charge so hard from the back of that pack you're yeah. insanely fast but it's just when you're having to come through the pack like that, it's just there's a lot of things that you can't control back there. But being a fan favorite, do you think does it add more pressure to you when you're in these races? Like, are do you put more pressure on yourself, or or do you not even think about that kind of stuff? No, nah, not not at all. I don't really think about that. So round four, ND one is coming up. What what are your goals for this race? Probably another top three. You want to do top top three for sure. Um, what's it going to take? Gonna go for that win, though. Yeah, you got to get that W. Uh, what's it going to take to get a better start? I feel like if you if you had a top three start, I, I feel like you could just check out. But we, we got to get that start going. Well, that's kind of a iffy subject because every time I do get a good start, say like PDMX, I'll get a good start then, but I'll be running up front, but then I'll crash or something and I'll just fall straight back and then have to do the charge all over again. So even if I do get a, better, a good start, usually I somehow find a way to mess it up so even with a good start no guarantees yeah exactly <laughs> even with a good start i can't guarantee uh can't guarantee a good finish so uh for these supercross races like how important is it for you to have uh, a good bike setup do you find like one setup and kind of stick with it every race or do you change it depending on the track uh well forever i actually used a stock setup which no one kind of thought i did but i really did and then I found a good setup, probably round one. Round one. Burial. I found a good setup, and the whole Meat Monster team have been using it. Working out? It's been, yeah, it's been working out just fine. We don't really like to touch it a lot, just because. So we're we're about to do round four. Out of all the rounds so far, what do you think has been the hardest part of the races, like obstacle wise, or um, we've had a lot of people complaining about the lappers. Um, a few people will saying that the whoops are, are too gnarly, but just like on your opinion, what do you think? You counting lapis as an obstacle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just, you <laughs> use them as a ramp. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a hard one actually, because I've been finding the whoops really easy actually compared to other people like the, uh, the Houston three. Yeah. This last round, I, I didn't crash once in that main event through those whoops. I feel like round three and round one, the whoops were just destroying people. Yeah. Especially that round one after the wall and then right into the whoops. I'd probably say the rhythms then, because it's hard to get the rhythms consistent in every lap. Yeah, especially on a, a 250, I feel like. I feel like on a 450, oh, yeah. it'd be a lot easier because you could probably just hit everything in second. But I feel like... Definitely. I mean, just from the time that I've ridden on the track, it just seems like it's really hard to get those triple ins or triple outs on the 250s. Oh, it's definitely a stretch once the uh, track gets a bit beat up. Was it round, I'm trying to think, was it round two where they had the sand section into the rhythm where when people yeah. were tripling in? That was, 
Yeah. That was kind of like a technical rhythm section, but watching the race and, and, and commentating on it, it looked like you were getting it pretty much every lap. Yeah, I'd only really mess it up if I uh, had someone in front of me. Now, when you're, uh, I guess, preparing for these races, like, how do you prepare? Just put a lot of time on the track, or do you kind of just, like, get it down and then, you know, tuck it away and just keep it fresh? Yeah, I, uh, I, I spend a few hours on it when it gets released and then i go to sleep for the whole day and then race what time is it your time when 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 you're doing these races uh I'd say like 5 6 a.m wow that's why i honestly that's why i dq'd the first round because i just was not feeling it you weren't having it, you was just like uh, uh, the bed was calling you i mean this is going to be a long a long series we're doing 17 rounds we're only on round four and considering that you missed the whole entire first round you're only like maybe 30 points down so there's plenty of time for you to catch up because you know how mx bikes is the guy who won last week could not even qualify for the main event so it's just it's just crazy but yeah what are your, what are your goals for the series are you, are you just trying to get top five or do you want to win it uh nothing yet since we're so early i'm just uh just having fun out there i guess just race to race it's about if the cha- if the championship battle tightens up between me and jack i'll probably put a mo- bit more focus into it but for now i'm just i feel like there's uh starting to be uh more people playing the mx bikes games do you do you feel like that at all uh absolutely i think there's a lot of attraction to this game now but um okay so usually this is a time where i i give the floor to you and you can thank your sponsors or anybody you want to shout out and i'll just leave oh, you the God. floor and you can say whatever you want. All right. Oh, uh, shit. Don't okay. even think. I'll, I'll got, cut uh, that out. Monster. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Monster, Monster Energy Kawasaki, I guess. Okay. With our uh, amazing Thor deal. We are actually leaving them for the next series, but that's... Whoa, uh, wait. Did I just get an exclusive? Dude, the anticipation. Okay, so uh, Thor right now. Yep. And we'll... Uh, might be looking at A-Stars. Okay. Oh. Uh, nothing, nothing confirmed yet. Actually, I'm not going to get into that. I'm not, not going to get into that until uh, the next series. Okay, cool. Thank you for taking your time and talking with us. And uh, I'm looking forward <laughs> to see seeing what you're going to do tomorrow. It should be a good race. Yeah, and good luck. Thank you.